Okay, in this tutorial we're going to go about uh, exporting held prop animations. So go into Max and here's my uh, animation. As you can see it's a guy who's got a tennis ball or something in his pocket and he, he can just take the tennis ball out put it back. We'll split this animation in two like we did for the uh, animations tutorial previously. So we'll take him through to about here where he's got the ball out of his pocket. And part two will be replacing the ball back into his pocket. Okay, so first of all, we're going to uh, make a little export folder here. I'm not going to export directly into the add on pack. I'm going to export to two separate folders mail animations and then I'm going to do the prop animations into a separate folder. It's going to have a subfolder of mail01. Okay, so we start off with uh, exporting the ball here. So we select the skeleton, the bone for the ball, and uh, we're going to export that as a skeleton file. Go into our prop animations folder, and we're just going to call this um, ball bone. Okay, so we've got the bone selected and we've exported it. Okay, you'll note that uh, basically we're in the base pose again. I've just got the ball here uh, parented to the, the leg of the character at the beginning of the animation and uh, then it's parented to the hand a bit later so that um, it looks like he's picking the ball up. <coughs> so with the timeline at zero, we're now going to export the animation for the first half of this uh, hell prop animation. So we're going to export a Cal 3D animation file in the mail01 folder of our prop. And we can call this get ball in. Okay, so we now click on save and it's asking us uh, which skeleton do we want to use. Now we want to use the ball bone that we previously exported, so just select that and export for the first uh, 42 frames which is the first half of the animation. We can now export the second part of the animation so we could get get ball out <coughs> and this will take it from when he's holding the ball in front of him to when he puts it back in his pocket. So again same process but this time we're going to start on frame 42 and export up until frame 84. We're now going to do the same thing for the uh, skeleton of the character. So we select the root, export our get ball in file, and this time we're going to go to the mail anims folder. So we've got direct, uh, the, exactly the same name, but this time we're going to choose a different skeleton. We're going to choose the skeleton for the mail character out of core. So we're going to add on core data puppets. Mail01 and get to the Mail01 new skeleton. Click on next and this time obviously we're going to go from 0 to 42 again. Export that. Now we want to do exactly the same for the out animation so we just rename that get ball out. Click on save We've already got the correct puppet skeleton selected. So just change the start frame to 42. And there we go. Okay, now as we've actually got a prop to um, export as well, we need to unhide, unfreeze, sorry, the uh, sphere, which we can now select. Okay, so we can now export this as a Cal3D mesh in the Prop Animations folder. Select Mesh and just call this Ball. Okay, we want to select the correct skeleton, which is going to be our Ball Bone, which is in the prop animations folder here. 
So we're going to click on open and then uh, on the next page we're just going to change how many bones are allowed to change each vertex and we're just going to change that to one. Click next a couple of times and that has exported the mesh for the ball. Okay, so we've got the animations exported, the mesh exported, so let's get onto the material. So we highlight the material name and copy it to the uh, clipboard and then we want to export this as a Cal3D material file. I'm going to put this in the same location, the prop animations um, folder, paste the name in and then select the name from the option box there. You can see we've got this red-white DDS which I'll uh, show you just in the file structure here. We've got a subfolder called Textures and this is where we put our red-white DDS file. Okay, so we'll just finish that export process and that now has the material exported. Okay, so um, if we just open up the folder where we've just exported everything to, uh, we can see we've got our held prop folder um, in here. I'm just going to resize this. Um, where we've got our mail animations, we've got the prop, um, mesh, and material, the prop animations, and finally the texture, which we've just stored in a texture directory. Okay, so if we go to our add ons folder, we make a new add on and we'll start moving the files around. So I'm going to call this add-on held prop ball and start making some folders under here. So we want to start with a data folder as before. Make a new folder under there and call that puppets. And we'll also have a props folder. Okay. If we go into the puppets folder and uh, we'll make a new folder under there call them mail01 and then another new folder under that called animations inside here we're going to have one more folder called if I can spell interact okay so come up the directory we're just going to show you the directory structure here and we're going to go into the props folder make a new folder in there and uh, we're going to call that ball, another new folder and call that animations. So we also need a uh, textures folder to store our texture map and a thumbs folder which is optional really because um, the Models Workshop will make one automatically if you don't. Go into the animations folder here, make a new folder, call that mail01 because we're obviously exporting for the mail again only and let's start copying stuff in so firstly we want to copy our texture file into the textures folder then we want to go into um, our ball folder and get the mesh and the material and the bone we get the animations file for the prop and put that in the animations folder mail01 copy and paste those and then we get the mail animations for the puppet and go down and put them in the animations interact folder for the puppet we just have a subfolder called ball under there just so that it makes it tidier when we look at the uh, menu within Movie Storm. Okay. So now what we need to do is to um, start up the Modders Workshop and uh, start importing. Okay. So with the Modders Workshop loaded, um, we're going to do the same as before and that's filter out um, other un unwanted animations and stuff like that so we're just going to um, scroll through the list and find the uh, held prop ball add-on that we just created 
just wait for it to update. Okay, so now if we go into uh, models, the first thing that we'll do is we'll actually uh, define the ball. So we create a new template under the props and we will call this held underscore ball. Okay. Now, we select our template, add the mesh, and we're going to select the uh, ball under the meshes and the ball under the materials. So now you see we've created an object with a material, and we're just going to save that. Oops. Yeah, uh, you have to specify your add-on, so uh, we go up to the top and filter through again and uh, select the held prop ball add-on and then hit save. Just resize that slightly so this is basically the preview image that we're going to get in Movie Storm. So let's go back up to the uh, ball folder and we're going to just put a couple of tags in here. I'll just put it as a prop, uh, nothing under bones and uh, I'm going to put this can be held in the right hand under properties. And I don't want it to appear in the set workshop browser. So I'll just check that box. Click on save. And that saved all the information that we need to do for the prop. Okay. So now we click on the animations folder for the prop under mail01. And we've got the get ball in and get ball out. Go to these subfolders and, and we don't need to change anything there. So we just need to save the state info for the get ball in and save the state info for the get ball out. Okay, to make the corresponding animations for the puppet, we're now going to select puppets mail01 and go to our animations interact ball folder. And you can see the puppet uh, getting the ball out. So right, we're going to go in and change a few things. We're going to uh, call the end pose something different, as we did with the animations. So we'll call that got ball, and that's basically the pose that he is using. I'm going to copy that so that we can paste it in for the get ball out animation. Again, check all except face, just so that he doesn't perform any um, improvisations. And then we're going to save the state info. So go to the get ball out animation. And the beginning pose is going to be pasted from the other one. Check all except face again. And save the state info. OK, so now what we need to do is um, create the verbs which define the animation. So we're going to go to a character held prop verb here. We'll give it a menu name of get ball. Okay. It's for the mail01 subject. And then we need to scroll through and find the animation. Oh, actually, let's put this in a subfolder just so that it's uh, cleaner in the UI when we get into uh, Movie Storm. So I'll call that ball, get ball. So let's scroll through and find our animation. And there we have interact ball, get ball in. Object is obviously going to be the ball. And then we're going to save that verb. Now once that's saved, we're going to make a second verb. Again, a new character held prop verb. We're going to call this get ball, in fact, no, we'll call that ball return ball. Okay, so again, it's going to be for the mail01 puppet. Then we scroll through our animations, find the correct one, and assign it. So that was somewhere down here. Um, Interact, ball, get ball out. Select the ball. We don't need to change that value and click on save.
Okay, so now we want to log in as our publisher. Click OK. And now we want to publish our pack. Now obviously we don't want to check the requires license to use. So we'll just go ahead and publish. OK. So let's close this. Let's open Movie Storm. Let's go to New Movie. And again, we'll just do a blank scene. So um, start with a Movie Storm template. Just go straight to the dressing room. Create our puppet. Put some clothes on him. Go to the director's view. Place our puppet on set. And we'll access this animation from the use prop UI. So go in here, scroll through and find our ball. And there we have it. And we want to add the get ball animation. And you'll see that he reaches into his pocket and brings the ball out. Now that he's in the uh, got ball position, we can move him around. And you can see he's got a held prop, so um, he can walk around with the ball. Click on the return ball, and he puts the ball back into his pocket. So that's basically how you get a held prop from Max into MovieStorm.